Welcome to the second installment of Stacker News. What did you miss last week in YouTube web dev? In this video, I'll highlight some of my favorite videos from last week to help you decide which to watch, and maybe you'll discover some new videos and channels that you didn't know about. So be sure to watch to the end to check out the underrated video of the week that you need to watch. If this video helps you out, help me out by liking and subscribing. All of the links to the videos mentioned will be in the description below. This is a new video series that I'm trying out, so let me know what you think. This is Stacker News. Now these are in no particular order. First up, Anya Kubo released a 12 hour plus coding bootcamp where she teaches you HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. She put a ton of work into this video. It's broken up into sections using timestamps on YouTube. She's also added cards throughout to direct you to external projects that you can try out and other videos on her channel to help you expand on certain skills. There's a bunch of code sandboxes with examples to help you out too. But be sure to check this video out and subscribe if you haven't already to help her out. In this video, Coder1 creates a login slash register server where the user can create a new account using a RESTful API and then log in using JSON web tokens and Passport.js. He also covers the authentication process and how to validate JWTs in order to restrict access to the server resources only for logged in users. Be sure to check this one out to learn more about authentication. Next up, Adrian Tuareg deleted all of his websites. Well, then he shows you the three steps to recover deleted or lost photos, videos, documents, and email files from any SD card, PC, Mac, external hard drive, or whatever. So be sure to check that out. In this video, Dave Gray teaches you how to make a responsive navbar, dropdown menu, and website. You'll use HTML, CSS, and vanilla JavaScript to build a complete responsive website and navbar dropdown menu. Responsive web design will make the page adapt to all screen sizes, and the responsive navbar will feature CSS animations along with vanilla JavaScript for opening and closing the hamburger menu button and displaying the drop down menu. Next up, Ali Spittle gives you a tour of her VS Code setup and all of her favorite extensions, themes, and shortcuts. She's used a bunch of different text editors in her career, but Visual Studio Code is by far her favorite. Good choice. She also points out some extensions for foam, which I need to learn more about. Really quick, like this video and subscribe. It helps me out. Another huge video from Free Code Camp is up next. This is a five hour full course on making a landing page using HTML, SCSS, and JavaScript. I love SAS. And this course is from a friend of the channel, Coder Coder, who recently passed 100,000 subscribers on YouTube. Congrats, Jessica, it's well deserved. Be sure to check out this video on Free Code Camp and subscribe to the Coder Coder channel. Next up, in case you missed it, is one of my videos. Did you know that not all resumes are created equal? Do you think that an actual person sits down and looks through every resume that gets submitted? Are you spamming your resume all over the place and not getting any responses? Well, here's why. There's this thing called an application tracking system. There are so many applications coming into companies that recruiters can't keep up. So your resume is most likely getting passed through an ATS before it ever gets seen by any human, and yours is most likely getting filtered out. In this video, I'll tell you all about application tracking systems and how you can get your resume passed to them. Be sure to watch this video if you're looking for a job. Next up, Wave and Falk released a new course on Gatsby and WordPress. Did you know that you could use Gatsby with WordPress? Well, he'll teach you how to build your site using Gatsby and use WordPress as a headless CMS. And for a limited time, you can get the course for 60% off. Now, this is not sponsored and I'm not an affiliate. I just really like the way that Thomas explains things. So be sure to check this out. Next, Dorian Develops shows us three free websites to learn code that in his opinion are better than coding boot camps. So check this one out to see why he thinks that these are better. Ben Awad. Do I really need to say more? He uses Elixir with the Phoenix framework to create a competitive game for programmers. Strip code. I probably shouldn't say this, but what is he gonna think of next? I can't wait to see. Next up, Tech with Tim shows us five ways to write code faster. He says that one of the worst parts about coding is how time consuming and mentally exhausting it can be. He shares with you five tips and strategies to write code faster. He talks about how you can write code in a better way so that you have fewer bugs and are more efficient when you're going through the coding process. So be sure to check that out. 
DevEd. He builds a glass website, and then it breaks. Oh no, he takes a break. That's right, he teaches you the importance of taking breaks and stretching. Should we look out for a new channel? StretchEd? Next up, Catalan Pitt shares his experience of becoming a software engineer. How did he go from a construction worker to a software engineer? Well, check it out. It's great to hear what others have gone through. Speaking of experiences, next we have a video from Jordan, the computer scientist. He's still in school and is feeling like an imposter. That happens to all of us, but he has a great attitude about it. He's not quitting and you shouldn't either. Be sure to check him out and follow him on his journey. Next up, Lee Halliday bakes cookies. No, he makes, he teaches you how to set and remove cookies in the browser and also on the server using Next.js. He shows you when you should set cookies on the client side versus the server side. And if you want to learn more about Next.js, be sure to check out his next level Next.js course where you'll build a full application from start to finish using TypeScript, GraphQL, Prisma, Apollo, Mapbox, Firebox, and lots more. Now we have another great video from Design Course. Gary shows us some cool things that we can do with Adobe XD after the latest update. He builds a button micro interaction to demonstrate these new features. Next, we have two videos from Program with Eric. He builds a Pokemon app two ways. In this video, he builds the app using View 3, and in this video, he builds it using React. So check these out to see the differences. It's pretty interesting. Next up, we've got a great resource from Colby Fayok. There's so much more to development than writing code. Things like communication and other soft skills. These are seldom talked about or taught. So he launched a newsletter, Journey to Dev. It's a free seven week newsletter course that focuses on how to become a better dev beyond the code. It will help you build human centered skills that will help you achieve your goals. It's completely free, so why not sign up? Now for the underrated video of the week. Be sure to check out Max Programming. He's doing great work and has been very active in the developer community. In this video, he shows you how to set up TypeScript with Node.js and Express. Check out his channel and give him a sub. Now, if you have any suggestions for other development related channels, please let me know in the comments below. That's going to be it for this video. Like this video to help me out and subscribe if you haven't already for more videos like this.